Midnight completely changes how much you actually need add-ons, but add-ons are still where you can fine-tune things and find competitive advantages. Today, we're breaking down what Blizzard added to the default UI in Midnight, and then the 15 add-ons that make the game cleaner, clearer, and way more enjoyable. If you haven't played in a while, the cooldown manager is here. This lets you track major defensives, offensives, and utility directly in the default UI. It's basically a mini weak aura. It's easy to use, which is great for people returning to the game. Blizzard also added native boss timers in Midnight. These show upcoming mechanics with clear countdowns directly in the UI, and of course, alerts. Exactly like DBM and bigwigs, but on a timeline instead of bars. Nameplates are now far more customizable by default. You can control their size, behavior, and visibility based on combat scenarios. This was a much needed addition to the game, and it will continue to improve over the course of the expansion. We are also also finally getting a built-in damage meter. Blizzard is currently working on adding detailed death information, including avoidable damage. This is huge for learning and self-review. Add-ons like details still work perfectly and offer deeper breakdowns, but Blizzard just having this available in the base game is huge. With the baseline covered, let's move into the add-ons that build on top of UI changes in Midnight. And if you're an Elv UI enjoyer, yes, it will still work in Midnight along with a lot of the other custom UIs that you've probably installed in the past. Cooldown Manager Centered takes Blizzard's new cooldown manager and simply adds a center to line option. The add-on also adds some additional options to tweak things about the cooldown manager, like squared buttons, move the text, and it also does the highlight for your abilities if you're using the rotation helper. I've tested a ton of add-ons around the cooldown manager and this one achieved exactly what I wanted and made it super easy. Platinator enhances Blizzard's new nameplates. It provides a ton of easy to adjust settings along with allowing you to set mob colors based on them being a boss, mini boss, caster, or melee. Information that I personally find important and Platinator's interface is just easy to work with compared to others. You can find my import code for Platinator and my entire UI in the description below. Sensei Class Resource Bar provides a display for class resources like combo points, holy power, runes, it also has mana and health. However, it currently doesn't support Enhancement Shaman Maelstrom. For that specifically, you'll have to install Arx Maelstrom Weapon Resource and together they cover nearly every class and spec. Yes, Big Wigs is still around and it is a way to keep your bar timers if you don't like Blizzard's new timeline. It still is loaded with a lot of customization options as well and will always be my preferred over DBM for how easy it is to navigate and set up. Dander's Frames offers a modern, minimal take on unit frames. Health, resources, and debuffs are easy to read. It's great, especially for healers, since everyone is scrambling to find a good new clean alternative to the default frames. Feels polished without being overwhelming. Midnight Simple Unit Frames is the new easy way to change your unit frames to that more modern box look. It is packed with options, easy to set up, and the one that I found worked the best and didn't have a ton of bloat. Skyriding Falcon enhances the Skyriding experience with a weak aura style widget. I tuck my ability bar in the corner of my screen, making this add-on a must-have for me. Targeted Spells shows you exactly who an enemy ability is targeting. Instead of guessing, you know instantly if something is coming for you or someone else. This is especially helpful in group content. Simple, direct, and extremely effective. And yeah, stuff like this still exists. Northern Sky Raid Tool focuses on raid coordination and clarity. It provides clean markers, reminders, assignments, and utility tools. Basically, what their Raid Week Aura package used to do is built into this add-on using timers and not Blizzard's API. So if you're into that and can't live without add-ons guiding you and your raid group, here you go. Plumber is a must-have. It's a quality of life add-on that will make you think Blizzard added something to the game. Just install it, you'll love it, and never really have to touch it because it just enhances everything, even housing. Leatrix Plus bundles dozens of quality of life improvements into one lightweight add-on, faster looting, UI tweaks, automation, all optional and configurable. You can enable only what you want and ignore the rest. And performance friendly, another one of those add-ons you install once and forget about it. Macrorific makes creating and managing macros far easier than the default interface. It offers better organization and cleaner editing tools. If you enjoy optimizing keybinds, this add-on is a big quality of life win. 
win, especially if you're a returning player since the most used macro configs are built into the add-on, like mouse over macros, for example. Ultimate Mouse Cursor allows you to add a circle around your mouse, including trails so you never lose track of it, even when you're holding down right click to turn your camera. There's a ton of options to adjust and add GCDs and cast times to this. I find it a great and easy way to make sure I always know where my mouse is. Waypoint UI improves how navigation markers look and behave. It's clean and simple. Dialog UI upgrades NPC conversations with a dynamic camera movement and a clean dialog window. It also adds keybinds to all the interaction options, which is great, definitely modernizes the game a bit. Midnight finally gives us a default UI that stands on its own. And these add-ons are about refining that experience or keeping your UI basically exactly how it was. Pick the ones that solve the problems you are having, and if you want to use my minimal add-on UI, head over to my Notion page in the description where you can find everything you need for free. If this helped, drop a like and subscribe for more midnight guides and let me know which add-ons you're excited to try first. And if you've been out of the loop with housing, click here to see some of the craziest houses I've toured on my new series, Legendary Cribs. With that, I'll see you all in pre-patch.